And this is the wall, guys. All done. What happened? Nicola, you're not a very good driller. You're very cute, Nicola. <laughs> so funny, I'm gonna cry. Kiss me, kiss me every time. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, we are finally starting the walls today. And to be honest, I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> like, I obviously trust Michael and he drew up our little plans, but um, I don't know, it just seems like serious work and I'm a little scared. And first we're laying out the track. I honestly, guys, this, this is not my realm. Like, yes, I've done a lot of research, but this is kind of Michael's like thing. He done, he did a lot more research than I did, and that's just how his brain works, and he kind of gets stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do my best to just be quiet all day. <laughs> and just do what he tells me to do and help out the way that I can. And, oh my gosh, he's already starting to cut things. What, isn't that all gonna fall apart? Huh? I gotta go help. See you guys later. <laughs> so today we are going to build the neck wall and that one's like super easy because it's just one cut out like exactly where like the little neck opening is gonna be and I literally just like I'm standing on the trailer and we just <laughs> kind of like decided exactly how high like we want the opening and stuff and like obviously babes can come in the nook too but that's kind of like my little spot of the house and I'm super excited so we literally I was just standing here and I was like okay how like big do I want it to step into and then we did it so it's like what's so cool about building your own house like you can do it on the spot and you can figure it out and we thought we'd start there because it's not too complicated just so we can like get used to working with the steel and um, see how it goes it's one of the smaller walls so so yeah so we're gonna start there and how we're starting so we laid down this track and we're putting it a half an inch off and it's gonna be a half an inch off on this side too because that's how big our OSB is so the OSB is gonna come flush out to the trailer so that's how we're doing it we put these down on both sides put this one down over there and then we measured from here to the other start of that track and so we measured that out drew the line and for the track whatever you need for one of them you're gonna need one more piece exactly like that since it's like the bottom and the top so we just measured out two track pieces and that's gonna be the ones that we're gonna use for this first wall so we're gonna go cut them out real quick and then get started with the sides okay guys so i was trying to cut um the track and i saw a video on youtube <laughs> where they were using just like an exacto knife and some tin snips so the tin snips works for us but not the exacto knife and i think it's just because our um like studs and tracker may be thicker than theirs was so the exacto knife like wasn't even making a dent in it so we're just gonna have to use like a table saw okay this is just re rearranging the drawing like a tiny tiny bit and fixing it up and yeah guys these are our drawings like i'll show you guys more later but yeah michael drew them all and that's what we're going off of those are our plans so we honestly we bought plans and we haven't even looked at them and what are we gonna do now babes start putting in studs start putting in studs yay all right guys so we are just laying out everything for the wall we have the two tracks the top one and the bottom one over here and then we're just laying out all the studs in the middle and so they go every 16 inches that's just like building code and then you double stud at each end and in the center here this is where like our opening is going to be for the reading nook but there still be studs you guys will see but yeah so we're just measuring it out first screw about to go in to make the walls yeah is it in is it good I'm scared. I'm terrified. What happened? Nicola, you're not a very good driller. Nicola, okay. Can I can I do it? Watch. I'll get I'll, you can watch me do it. <laughs> you're very cute. Stop filming me. You're very cute, Nicola. Stop filming me, I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna do it. I can't do it. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing wrong. Help. <laughs> Stop 
stop filming me. Next screw, please. Oh dear. I'm fuzzy. Okay. Um, we just realized, babes, you know you're too tall. <laughs> that we haven't really told you guys about like our steel and what like sizes we're using and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, Q-Bibs. So both the studs and the track that we're using are the three and five eighths track this way. I think that's called the web. Uh, the track had a 125, that's in mil. I think it's 1.25 inches uh, leg right there. It was a 162, so 1.62 inches leg on the studs, so one, uh, 125 on the track. And then just the little return for that little flange there. <clears throat> that's what makes some structural studs is having not just the U-shape like the track, but having that little flange there as well. So you want to make sure you have that. That's um, what's necessary for structural studs. I think these studs are manufactured by Semco. They're all 33 mil thickness. That's how thick the metal is. 33 mil thickness is also 20 gauge. Go Vibs. And we also got U-channel bracing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So that's all this stuff. You'll see that more once it's actually in, but that's bracing, lateral bracing for the walls. And you mount that with little 90 degree brackets. So you take one of those U-channels and you run it through this bigger part of the hole in the track right here. And that goes all the way through, screws in this little 90 degree bracket on each stud. And that would give it a lot more lateral strength as well. And these holes are also where we're gonna put our electrical through, yeah? Yeah. Oh my God, I always keep dropping it. <laughs> um, also, since it didn't work out for me to be screw lady, I'm jig lady. And Babe says screw, wait. Not screw boy, that sounds bad. <laughs> Drill boy? Drill boy, Some that's what boy, I guess. <laughs> but yeah guys, it's going really, really well. Um, we have like um, almost all of our king studs are in with the screws in. Also, these are the screws that we are using. So they're number eights, three fourths an inch, self drilling. And you can see like they just pop out a little bit. Um, and yeah, they're working super well for us. like two what are these called so they're not king studs still studs just not king studs because they don't go all the way up but this is the footer right there so we put those in and so how we're bracing all or how we're basically putting in all of the pieces that are going horizontal like inside the walls which are track um we're cutting like you snip here you snip on the other side and then you bend this up I will show you guys um, probably in the next video exactly how we do it. But yeah, and then it can just slide in. You can screw here. You can screw obviously there and on the other side. And so now we're just working on the header over there. And once that's done, then the whole wall will be complete. Just so you can see, um, we're using a jig and it's just like a piece of wood. We just cut a little L-shaped hole out of it. And you put that underneath um, the studs. It basically keeps the studs from collapsing at all. So it gives it support on this side, because this side's solid, but this side's hollow. Right. So it supports this side too. So when you press into it, it doesn't fold down. It stays flat yeah, and it like drills through. Some of the other pressure can go farther down so it doesn't go through. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guys, we literally finished this whole wall today. We just need to put in the U. The U channel. So U channel. The bracing that goes through here. Yes. All the way across on the bottom. And yes. Here and here. So that's all that we're missing, but this whole wall is done. <laughs> and that's where my reading nook is gonna go. Wait, is that too high? How do I get you in here? It to be like four yeah, feet no, high. I like it. 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 All right, guys. Well, we finished building our first wall. That was super exciting. Good job, though. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And next time, we'll put the U channeling in and, and start wall two. Start wall two. A rabbit. I think. Okay, I need to be serious. So these things are the U channels that I showed you guys, and again, they are like indented on this side and so how we put these in are with these brackets 
So we just got these brackets at Home Depot, made sure they were like one and a half inches so it fits in there. They have two holes in them, but we just put one screw on each to secure them in. So yeah, that's like super secure in there and it just helps with like the whole stability of the wall. So anything else that it does for us, Bibs? It's lateral bracing, so it braces it like side to side. Did you guys hear that? Lateral bracing, side to side, that's the key. And this is the wall, guys, all done. So we have the footer down here. I don't know if that's really what it's called, but that's what we've been calling it. Um, and then the header up there above our little opening for the reading nook. And those things going across is the U-channel. So some people do this with track going across like that, but we chose to do it with the U-channel because we thought that'd be a little bit stronger. Thanks for watching. Bye.